So, a ransomware group claims to have breached all Sony systems. The group behind the alleged attack says it plans to sell the stolen data. Ransomware uh, group Ransomed.vc claims to have successfully breached Sony Group and is threatening to sell a cache of data stolen from the Japanese company. While its claims remain unverified, again, this is going to be something that Sony is um, internally investigating right now to find out what, if anything, was in fact taken. But to be fair, usually these are not false statements. <laughs> um, usually if a ransom um, attack has, has been claimed and, and pushed out there, especially one uh, on a big company like this, it usually holds some weight to it. Not always, but quite often. Cybersecurity Connect reports that the re relative ransomware newcomer has racked up an impressive amount of victims since bursting onto the scene last month. Quote, we have successfully compromised uh, all of Sony's systems. The group claimed on both the clear and dark nets. We won't ransom them. We will sell the data. Due to Sony not wanting to pay, data is for sale, in all caps. <laughs> According to Cybersecurity Connect, the group has posted some proof of hack data, although it says this is not particularly uh, compelling information on the face of things. Hmm. It includes what appear to be the screenshots of an internal login page, an internal PowerPoint presentation, several Java files, and a file tree of the leak, which seemingly includes fewer than 6,000 files. The group listed a post date of September 28th, after which if nobody purchases the data, it is presumably when Ransom.vc will publish the, the data wholesale. Ransom.vc is said to be both a ransomware operator and a ransomware as a service organization. Claims to be a, quote, secure solution for addressing data security vulnerabilities within companies and also to be operating quote in strict compliance with gdpr and data privacy laws in cases where payment is not received we are obligated to report a data privacy law violation to the gdpr agency the group says most of the ransomed dot v, uh, vc's members reportedly operate out of ukraine and russia vgc has contacted sony for comment on this report and will update if we hear back from the company um Yeah, in 2011, Sony was um, hacked and suffered a massive breach, uh, resulting in the personal details of approximately 77 million accounts being compromised, service being taken offline for 23 days. Um, they estimated the hack would cost it more than $100 million. And it was forced to apologize not only to the players, but developers whose game launches were disrupted or whose online services were left unavailable. Here's their apology video right here. I'm not going to watch it, but um, Sony eventually faced as many as 55 class action lawsuits, agreed to offer compensation for those affected, including free games. Quote, you are the lifeblood of the company, PlayStation's U.S. boss Jack Tritton said uh, at the time. Without you, there is no PlayStation. I want to apologize personally. It's you, know, you that causes us to be humbled and amazed by the support you continue to give. And by support, he means money. <laughs> um so the big thing here is um According to Cybersecurity Connect, the group, they're talking about ransomware. Uh, what is it, VC? Um, Ransomed.vc, sorry, ransomed.vc, has posted proof of hack data, although uh, it, it, Cybersecurity Connect is saying that, uh, quote, the proof of hack data is not particularly compelling information on the face of things. This is, this is kind of what we were getting at whenever we found this article initially, Ferret and I. Um, you know, Sony is going to, uh, you know, that they are, uh, they're sweating, but.
but they're vetting this and they are internally investigating and, and doing forensics, uh, technological forensics on this to um, determine what, if anything, was actually taken and what kind of access was obtained um, in this breach. This is always the process. Um, companies that have He's been... He's the most powerful hacker of all exactly. time. Exactly. It was probably him. It was probably a hacker man's. Yeah. Um, perfect, perfect gift. dude. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, this is always the play. Uh, a company has to do their own due diligence and, and work their own internal process to verify what exactly this situation entails. This is a, a, a delicate situation too, because, you know, depending on what was taken and it, it, it's always because like ferret brought up earlier when we found this article, this could be a posturing kind of situation from, um, the ransom hackers. Right. Um, and that is why it's so important for the company themselves to do their own internal investigation to find out what was taken, verify what was taken, verify what kind of access they got not only to try and make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future, because they absolutely have to secure, they have to find out how it, how it happened and, and, and take measures and implement fixes to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. But they also have to verify what kind of data that company has. And they have to figure out a plan to move forward in the face of, of what has been taken here. And um, we'll find out soon enough. But this is basically the first steps in, in anything like this happening. Um, so Sony's uh, in a bit of some some um, hot water right now. You know that they're working hard to figure this out. I guarantee it. Um, but th it's not a good look right now. It's not a good look for sure. But uh, we'll be finding out more about this as... Um, I think the week unfolds uh, again. So tomorrow's the normal day off. So there will probably be some more news on this front that comes out um, over the next 24 to 48 hours that I won't be touching on until I get back uh, for live the next live stream on uh, Thursday, you know, and uh, but when we do get back on Thursday, we'll probably have a good, nice, solid chunk of information here about what, exactly is going on in this situation for us to cover so on thursday when we get back from our day off we'll definitely be covering more info on this i'm sure